at six, a cold case on the other side of the country now has a similar case in our backyard heating up is the man who reportedly confessed to killing one little girl responsible for another death. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis Bang and I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13, the first to report on the possible connection. We were first to report on that one, plus cold cases separated by more than 2,500 miles apart in Fairfield. Detectives just reopened a missing person investigation involving the disappearance of Nikki Campbell, and that was in 1991. And this comes after a Pennsylvania DA says a former pastor is arrested in a similar case. David Zanstra served at a Solano County Church around the time Time, little Nikki vanished. CBS 13 Shante Passmore is getting answers on the investigation while speaking with neighbors. Hopeful this development will help crack the case. Nikki Campbell often played throughout this neighborhood. The day she disappeared, a neighbor told me she asked if she could play with her daughters, but it was dinner time. Never did that mother think she would ever not see Nikki again. What happened to four-year-old Nikki Campbell? It's a question that's eluded Fairfield police for more than 30 years, a mystery still haunting neighbors living on Salisbury Drive. She was riding her bike down the street, then she just disappeared. A former lead investigator tells me not a day goes by he doesn't think of Nikki. But a breakthrough in another cold case across the country could also spark more clues in Nikki's disappearance. This age progression photo shows what the Fairfield girl would have looked like at 24. If alive, she'd be 36. Some neighbors only spoke to me under the condition of anonymity. Deep down, I feel that she, she was kidnapped and, and murdered. In Pennsylvania, prosecutors say David Zanstra confessed to the killing of a girl in 1975. He killed this poor eight-year-old girl he knew and who trusted him. Pennsylvania investigators tracked the former pastor in Georgia. Records show the 83-year-old crisscrossed the country, serving at multiple Christian reformed churches, including in Fairfield. His DNA will be submitted into a database to see if there are other hits in other jurisdictions. Because you don't like to see it. That type of thing happened in your your neighborhood or anybody's neighborhood, really. CBS 13 asked Fairfield Police if it plans to reopen Nikki's case. The department tells me a detective from the Special Victims Unit has been assigned to follow up after learning about the arrest of Zanstra. I did reach out to Fairfield Christian Reform Church, but I have not heard back. 